Have you ever wanted to make a sliding door, but the animation gizmo is a bit too confusing? Or have you ever wanted to make a fish fly, but you don't even know what frames are? Well, fear not, average user, because today I'm going to show you how to animate. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment while you're at it. We recently just hit 100 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough for this. Anyways, let's jump straight into it. First, let's grab our Maker Pen. Go ahead and open up the Watch menu, click Backpack, and click Use on the Maker Pen. The Maker Pen should appear right in front of you. Now, let's find the Animation Gizmo. Let's start by going to the Palette. Go ahead and click Palette, click Circuits V1, and scroll down until you see Gizmos. Click the Animation Gizmo, close out the Maker Pen menu, and spawn in the Gizmo. Go ahead and flip up your Maker Pen menu yet again, click Tools, then click Edit. Point it at the animation gizmo, click, and flip up your maker pen again. Now you're editing the animation. We are first going to go over what frames are. Let's use these fish to explain frames. Imagine the blue fish is the first frame, and imagine the red fish is the last frame. All of these other fish are the in-betweens. If we click this button, this fish on top of the blue fish will match each of these fishes until it gets to the red fish. So watch. Click the button and then see how it goes to each position before ending on the red. So each of these fishes are different frames and different positions that this fish will go to. So let's recreate this. Go ahead and spawn in whatever you want to animate. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this fish to the animation gizmo. So go ahead and flip up your maker pen, click connect, and click and hold the trigger on the fish. Now drag it to this little hook and let go of the trigger. Now the object is added to the animation. Go ahead and flip up your maker pen, click edit, and edit your animation. Now this fish is in the animation. Currently it says we're on frame 0, when really this is the starting frame. This will be the starting position. Now, go ahead and add a new frame, and you'll see this blue dot appear. This blue dot is where it was originally. Now, go ahead and move it to wherever you want, and now you'll see this line. This dot right here is the starting position, and this dot right here is the new position. Now, go ahead and add another frame. Now do the same thing and move it and add another frame. And keep repeating this until you're satisfied with your creation. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click play to see your animation. Looks good. Go ahead and drop the maker pen. Now we can wire the animation gizmo to this button. Wire this done to the reset. Configure your animation gizmo and click stop at end and push the button. And now the animation plays whenever you click the button. How cool is that? We're not just going to stop there, we're also going to make a sliding door using the animation gizmo. Okay, so I'm going to add this door to the animation. I'm going to edit the animation, and I'm going to add a frame. Use the move tool to move it to the other side. Now play it to see if you like it. As you saw, it looked robotic. So I'm going to make it slow down at the start and slow down at the end. All you need to do to do that is look at these linear options. So first click your frame and go ahead and click this button. Ease means at the start of the frame, it will go a little bit slower than usual. Ease fast means it's gonna go a little, little slower. And linear means it's gonna move at the exact same speed. So I'm gonna click ease for both of these and play it to see how it looks. That looks amazing. Click done. And again, I'm just gonna grab this button cause I'm lazy wire everything up and finally configure the animation gizmo set the playback mode to ping pong and also select stop at start with stop at end make sure this done is not connected to the reset and push the button you now have a fully working door thank you for watching my video but before you log on to rec room how about watch this video youtube chose just for you and subscribe where you're at it have a wonderful day